In this movie, I'll show you how to both expand and collapse every single group as well as every single layer effect and smart filter inside the layers panel. So the idea is this, once you start amassing a ton of layers inside of a document, things can get very gnarly here inside the layers panel with some groups open and some groups closed and some effects expanded and others collapsed and so forth. And typically what you do is you just expand and collapse one item at a time. For example, we'll go ahead and scroll up my list here and I'll click on the little triangle there to twirl the iBags subgroup closed. And then I'll continue to scroll up the list and I'll twirl close the eyes group that contains that subgroup as well. And now everything's nice and tidy inside the panel. Now, if I were to expand just the eyes group, then I would reveal the contents of that group, but that subgroup would remain closed because that was its last state. What if instead you want to expand everything? Well, what you do is you press the control key or the command key on the Mac and you click on one of these triangles for any one of the groups and that will go ahead and expand everything as you see here. So every single group is now expanded. And again, that's a function of control clicking or on the Mac, command clicking on the little triangle in front of any one of the groups. If you want to collapse every single one of the groups, then you control click or command click on any one of those triangles once again. And as you can see, they are now all collapsed. Compare this to if I go ahead and expand everybody once again by control clicking or command clicking on one of those triangles. Compare that to expanding and collapsing effects. So if I were to just click on this down pointing triangle on the far right side of the layers panel, I'd go ahead and expand the layer effects that are assigned to this specific layer. If this were a smart object and it had smart filters assigned to it, I would also see a list of those smart filters. If I click what is now an up pointing arrowhead, then I'll collapse that single layer. If you want to expand every single layer inside the panel, then you press the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac. Not Control or Command this time, it's Alt or Option. And notice if I Alt or Option click that arrowhead, now I can scroll down the list and I'm seeing every single layer effect revealed. If you want to hide them once again, you press the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac and click what is now an up pointing arrowhead in order to collapse every single one of those effects. Now you may wonder, well, why in the world is it control or command click for groups and it's alter option click for effects and smart filters? Here's the reasoning. One final keyboard trick that I want to share with you. I'll go ahead and control click or command click on the triangle in front of that clothing group, although it could have been the triangle in front of any of the groups for that matter in order to collapse them. If you press both the control and alt keys or command and option on the Mac and click one of these triangles in front of any one of the folders, then you're not only going to expand the groups, but you're also going to expand the layer effects and the smart filters. And then of course, if you want to collapse everything, so you have the ultra tidy view of your objects here inside the layers panel, then you press and hold the control and alt keys or command and option on the Mac and click on a triangle in front of any one of the folder icons. And that's how you expand and contract all groups as well as all layer effects and smart filters here inside the layers panel.